Hey everyone, my name is Whitney. I am a registered nurse and this channel is actually called Nurse Life Wit, but I normally talk about nursing and nursing school, nursing jobs, careers, pathways, all that type of thing. But in today's video, I wanna talk about the life part of Nurse Life Wit, if that's okay. So in today's video, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about like dealing with disappointments in life and things not going your way and just kind of like my process through that and just what I've learned so far. So let's just hop straight into it. So just a little background. When I was younger, I would feel, I feel like a lot of things just really went my way. Like 4.0, got it. The college of my dreams, got it. The scholarship I wanted, got it. The dorm I wanted to live in, got it. Like everything was always like, yes, yes, yes. You know, so I never really had to deal with disappointment because I was just so used to always getting what I want, which is definitely a blessing. Like, I'm very thankful for that. I feel like as I got older though, like in my 20s, I started to start to experience like what it meant to like face disappointment, things not going my way, or basically like the no's in life. Because up until then, it seemed like everything was always yes, 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 yes. So a big thing that came with that was just learning how to just trust God more. And I feel like kind of whole process and development of like the no's in life really taught me how to strengthen my faith in God and really just like trust God and his judgment for my path in life. I feel like that was really just like the theme of my 20s and I would say I feel like the first big like no experience or like thing I didn't have go my way first really major big test of my early 20s was honestly getting started into a career in nursing and for me that was really difficult because I was coming into one of like the toughest new grad nurse markets and it seemed like literally every single application i put in no matter how hard i tried it was just no after no after no after no like even i thought even like even some of the best opportunities that i thought were there for me or like the only opportunities that i saw and could see available it seemed like it was just like no after no after no and i feel like that was definitely like a really big like trust test it's like okay god like I know you got me. Like I know you'll provide for me. I know that you're gonna put me in the best position that you know is best for me. But all I can see with my own two eyes is just no, 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 no. Like what are we gonna do? But nevertheless, I was like, okay, God, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna trust you, though. I, I will. I will. I, so I don't see it, but I trust you. You know. <laughs> and it was crazy though because literally out of the woodwork, like out of no place that I could have seen my own self a whole brand new first cohort of this brand new new grad program just pops up out of nowhere like i had never heard anything about it and it happened to be the best opportunity i could have gotten out of anything literally probably one of the best opportunities in the state if i if i do say so myself because it ended up being like i the way i started just the pay rate itself i was able to start at a pay rate higher than any other hospital I would have been in. And even like if I worked at one of the other hospitals that I was desperately trying to get into, it would have took me like years and years and years to even get the salary that I just started out right at the program I finally actually got into. So, but the thing is like, if I was trying to trust my own judgment and choose and decide which opportunity was for me and what I felt was the best opportunity for me, I would have been stuck somewhere that was less than ideal or less than what God had for me. And I feel like for me, that was a big like eye-opening moment. Like, dang, God, that's really how you, that's really how you be doing. Like, it, for me, it was like so, especially just the way it worked out. It was like, wow. For me, I feel like that was just like one of like the first major like exemplifications of what trusting God or God delivering on his promises can look like. And that was a really valuable lesson for me that I feel like I've been able to like see and learn from and start to react to other situations as well. Even those that, you know, haven't turned out well for me yet. And one of those I would also say would be like with relationships. So another thing that was really hard for me was like with relationships, me, I've always been like a super big like hopeless romantic you know i'm not planning out my wedding day since i'm like five years old type of person like daydreaming about my wedding and husband and house and kids and all those things that's always been like a huge 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 big deal to me so for me when i was in college like my first relationship literally like my senior year of college i was like this is it this is the one 
this is who God has for me. Like, this is it. Like, I'm going to be married. My life dreams are fulfilled. Like, it's, thank you, God. But then it was like, God was like, no, nah, this isn't it for you. This, no, no. And I was just like super, super, super disappointed when that relationship had ended because I was like, dang, I thought like the, my my dream, my life's dream was fulfilled. Like how, how am I going to find somebody else? I'm going to be so lonely. I was like, wow, like there's nobody that I'll be able to like find that, you know, suits me or makes me happy or like all that type of thing. But then it was crazy because I feel like literally like the next person I had ended up like getting into a relationship with, it was like, oh Oh my gosh like I was so happy I had the most fun I ever had like all of the things I felt like were missing from like my previous relationship I feel like I had it in this relationship it was like I was super just like wow like I didn't know I could get even better be even happier like oh my this is amazing god you done you don't you don't downgrade you know and I was just so happy right but then when God again said you know, I'm glad you had fun, but no, this, no, it was like, God, but, but I was so happy, like, please, why not, like, so, so sad, like, my God, why can't you just make this one work, like, you don't see how happy I am, how much fun I'm having, like, all of those types of things, it was so, so hard, but then, but then I was like, okay, okay. Like, I've seen how God has worked before. I've seen how I wanted something so bad or thought something was the best thing for me. And then God comes back with something even greater. And it's like, dang, okay, like, it would be almost foolish of me to feel like God isn't going to just continue to do what he's done before. And, like, I have to remember to, like, look back on the way God has been before. It's like he's already proven himself to me. And it's like, okay, like, have I not shown you that you can trust me, you know? So it's kind of like, man really having to like keep that in my mind and keep that in my like heart especially when I'm like sad and when I kind of like bend my arm or like bend the arm of the situation to like work in the way I want it to work it's like okay Whitney like you have to remember to trust God and you have to remember that you know he has always proven himself like every single time so don't try to go out your way don't try to like force what you want at your own will because you always know that God always has better and you know what God's way is always gonna be the best thing for you even if you can't see with your own two eyes even if you don't see like Mr. Right or even if you don't see like the perfect opportunity like in your face or like written out for you and handed to you on a platter like know that God has his way of working things out the way he wants them to and it's always going to be the best thing for you if you just let him do what he knows best so it's like okay all right and that's kind of where I'm at right now in life. It's like so annoying having to deal with like change and like uncertainty and all of those types of things. But it's like, dang, it's just you really have to remember to just trust God. And then whatever experience there has been that God has like delivered, like remember that and like use that as an example. So for me, it's kind of just like, you know, remembering to use God's past like victories and using that as like, kind of like a reminder that he... <laughs> You don't have to worry like he's gonna hold up his end it's gonna be on his timing but like don't doubt god's power don't doubt his ability don't doubt that he will do what's best for you so that's gonna be my new like focus new theme and like new thing i really want to like keep in my mind and my heart um for the next i don't know for this, 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 this first period in life but yeah i just feel like sharing that because it's you know kind of what's going on in life right now it's the life of nurse life wit um thanks for watching and if you're going through something similar hopefully you can also like take this as a reminder to just look back on the victories that God has given you in life and just know that he's the same God as yesterday today and tomorrow so he's not gonna switch up on you he's not you just gotta keep trusting him and know that he will do what he say he will and that he will continue to provide for you and everything will be just according to his will as long as we keep following him trusting him and doing his will so yeah I'm preaching to myself honestly but anyways thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one